described as being an Elizabethan gem in the heart of industrial Lancashire and hidden away between Pendle Hill and Burnley is the magnificent Gorthorpe Hall. Standing proudly since the year 1605 in the town of Padium, Gorthorpe Hall was home to the Shuttleworth family right up until 1967 when the last resident, Rachel K. Shuttleworth, died. Now a Grade 1 listed building, the hall was given to the National Trust in the 1970s, where for several years it became a college for textiles, until later becoming the historical landmark which we all see here today. Now open to the public, Gorthorpe Hall offers a window into a fascinating era of a time gone by. Now restored to its former glory, but many of its decorative features remain unaltered, including its fabulous original plasterwork ceilings and the dark oak panels covering most of the walls. Containing the most elaborate and modern features of its day, Gorthorpe Hall would have stood out from the crowd and showed the people of Lancashire and beyond that the Shuttleworths had arrived. Gorthorpe Hall was built on the site of a peel tower, where the Shuttleworth family lived as far back as the 1400s. But when the tower was demolished and was replaced by Gorthorpe Hall, this became a building like no other. Hello everyone and welcome to Ghost Stories at Gorthorpe Hall. So we've taken a brief look at the history of the hall, but now I'm going to take a step back in time, some 400 years, and take a look at the first resident of the hall, who was a Richard Shuttleworth, and his connection to the Pendle Witches. One of the hall's earliest occupants was Colonel Richard Shuttleworth, who inherited Gorthorpe Hall from his uncle. A man of authority, Richard Shuttleworth was a High Sheriff of Lancashire, and a member of Parliament for Preston, along with being a commander of the Parliamentarian Army of the Blackburn Hundred during the English Civil War. His 400 strong army of soldiers, managing to see off 4,000 Royalist soldiers, saving Gorthorpe Hall from being taken over. Local stories suggest that Colonel Shuttleworth was involved in the Pendle Witch Trials of 1612, where 12 of the accused witches were arrested and sent to Lancaster Castle to await their trials. The Lancaster Assizes took place on the 18th and 19th of August in 1612, where 10 of the accused witches, most being from the Pendle area, were sentenced to death, being executed by hanging. One of the accused witches of 1612 was Anne Redfern. Anne lived on Richard Shuttleworth's land, and Richard's servant, Robert Nutter, accused Anne, along with others, of being witches. Both Anne Redfern and Old Chattox threatened Robert years previous, both women claiming to have supernatural powers. Robert Nutter later died, his death adding to suspicious rumours already circulating within the local area of Old Chattox's involvement. But most locals firmly believed that the Forest of Pendle and its neighbouring villages were home to groups of women who were practising black magic. These being the ones responsible for bewitching Robert Nutter 
along with many others. <laughs> Due to two unexplainable deaths of various family members in 1687, the Shuttleworths decided to move away from Gorthorpe Hall, believing the hall to be a bad omen. And three generations of the Shuttleworths refused to return. It wasn't until the year 1842 when the hall took on a new lease of life and was modernised and improved. New owners James Kay and his wife Janet redesigned the hall's interiors and the surrounding gardens, along with adding a new grander oak staircase and heightening the tower of the roof, all of which remains here to this day. In the 1900s, the hall was left under the care of Rachel K. Shuttleworth, who lived here for many years, looking after her father. A renowned embroidery and lace maker, Rachel turned Gorthorpe Hall into a craft house and built up a large collection of arts and crafts, many of Rachel's works displayed here for visitors to admire. Rachel K. Shuttleworth died in 1967 and was the final member of the Shuttleworths ever to live here. Now, during the 1960s, a gentleman named Tom was gardener here at Gorthorpe Hall. Now, one day, Tom and his wife ended up cleaning Gorthorpe Hall, giving it a good clean up, and Tom discovered a secret passageway in the hall. Now, in the passageway, they found some little bottles. Uh, which seemed to have some sort of medicine in them. Tom showed the passageway to Rachel Shuttleworth. But she had no idea about this, or the bottles, and found no explanation as to how or why these small bottles were hiding away in there. Could it be a possibility that the secret passageway may have been used to hide the medicines and portions made up by the accused witches of Pendle, or maybe just an innocent safe place for storing medicines. In truth, it seems we will never really know. Now before even entering the hall, some of its visitors claim to experience some unpleasant and unusual feelings. Numerous people claim that before even entering the grounds, they feel an overwhelming urge to just turn back around and leave. Especially whilst passing through the main gate, leading into the grounds of the hall. The majority of old halls seem to have a resident spirit of a grey lady. And Gorthorpe Hall is no different. The main staircase is an area where the spirit of the Grey Lady has been sighted on more than one occasion just standing on the staircase. Many people believe this to be the ghost of Gorthorpe Hall's former resident, a Rachel K. Shuttleworth. It seems that almost every floor at Gorthorpe Hall is reported to house an unknown entity. The ghost of a hooded nun has been spotted standing in front of the hall. In life, the nun met her untimely death by the hands of her lover, who is believed to have murdered her. More unexplainable phenomena has occurred in the hall's kitchen where it is reported that the spirit of a young servant girl was once spotted cowering in a corner. <laughs> when all the visitors have left the hall and darkness falls, staff here report seeing people still in the building, along with the eerie feelings of being followed around the hall. 
When the windows are closed and all doors are locked, the unexplainable sounds of footsteps walking along the 70 foot long gallery is another regular occurrence inside Gorthorpe Hall. A phenomena which seems to affect people's emotions, including the feelings of deep unease when in this building, is something that many visitors and staff have encountered throughout many years. The sounds of footsteps and voices have been witnessed in the dining room, along with the eerie sounds of musical instruments coming from the minstrel's gallery. Visitors here report an uncontrollable urge to leave the hall whilst browsing along the upper levels. Many people reporting a dark presence following them around the corridors, but then it just vanishes. On the top floors are rooms where servants once stayed. But in here, it is believed that a young female was murdered. Female visitors regularly report sharp pains in their chest, along with an overwhelming feeling of sadness and despair upon entering the servants' quarters. Now it's not just Gorthorpe Hall that's haunted, but the surrounding gardens are haunted too. The phantom of a monk is said to haunt the gardens. His spirit spotted pacing around, with his head down and his hands clasped together, as if he is deep in thought. World War II brought many hardships to the Shuttleworth family, which saw the once Grand Victorian Gardens being removed in 1946 and replaced by a large lawn. During a heatwave in the summer of 2018, the outline of the Victorian Garden re-emerged for all to see, making the news as the Ghost Garden of Gorthorpe Hall Visitors from around the country flocked to the hall to catch a glimpse of this historical garden. Well, what an incredible place Gorfort Hall is with so much fascinating history and hauntings. So until next time, do ghosts exist? What do you think? <laughs>